Yes, we're receiving it. Everything is good. Again, uh, you're seeing a replay of uh, the final farewells uh, between uh, the crew, uh, Padalka in the lighter blue shirt, Andy Mogensen uh, of the European Space Agency, Aydin Einbatov, the Kazakh cosmonaut, and of course a group uh, photo there with Scott Kelly, Mikhail Kornienko, Sergei Volkov, Kimia Yui, uh, Ale Kononienko on the left, and uh, Chell Lindgren just out of the field of view at the moment. Uh, the crew uh, posing uh, for a final uh, nine crew portrait after eight days together on board the International Space Station. Padalka, Mogensen, and Einbatov gearing up uh, for their high speed uh, entry back into the Earth's atmosphere later today and a landing on the steppe of Kazakhstan at 7.51 p.m. Central Time tonight. Gennady Padalka there in uh, the foreground saying farewell to Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko, who he ferried up to orbit back on March 28th on the TMA 16M. As uh, the departing crew uh, moves uh, through the hatchway uh, into the uh, Soyuz spacecraft, you're looking at, at the aft end of the Zvezda service module, the uh, mainstay of the Russian segment of the International Space Station, which was launched in uh, July of 2000 atop a Proton rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Uh, could you ask Sergey to call us? Okay, I'm going to ask him to grab the microphone. Go ahead. Uh, yes, uh, move Benpa to MRM2 and place uh, wherever you deem more convenient. Copy all, thank you. And there you see uh, the closing of uh, the hatch uh, between uh, the Zvezda service module and the Soyuz TMA-16M. This replay uh, of the activities that occurred about 45 minutes ago with the closing of the hatch marked at 1.17 p.m. Central Time, 2.17 p.m. Eastern Time. Since then, uh, the Soyuz has been placed on autonomous power by Gennady Padalka, the Soyuz commander, as he, Andreas Mogensen of the European Space Agency, and Aydin Einbatov of the Kazakh Space Agency, known as Kaz Cosmos, are uh, preparing their Soyuz vehicle for its undocking, which uh, is scheduled two hours and 29 minutes from now. And from a high-definition camera outside of the International Space Station, a spectacular view of sunrise. The uh, station and the Soyuz vehicle about to pass over the border between China and Mongolia. This view uh, from the uh, familiar crosshair engineering camera on the uh, Soyuz vehicle, along with other engineering data overlay, as we stand by for physical separation of the Soyuz TMA 16M spacecraft from the International Space Station. So the mechanical contact indicator is not illuminated anymore. So please report on upon this separation uh, the status of the uh, docking interface surface. Okay, copy Moscow. Undocking confirmed. Put SSVP mode in work, and we confirm separation. So goodbye, station.
and 10 days each uh, for Mogensen and Einbetoff, uh, as you can see, now flying free of the International Space Station, having undocked on time just a few minutes ago at uh, 4.29 p.m. Central Time. And a good view of the uh, departing Soyuz vehicle with Padalka, Mogensen, and Imbatov on board. Don't think we can see you. And we confirm this is Gennady that we had AGC mode go nominally. And, and there's our video of uh, the Soyuz TMA-16M so descending uh, as advertised under its main parachute three, eight and a half minutes prior to touchdown three, as sunrise three. breaks uh, over the landing site uh, 90 miles to the southeast of Jezkazgan. Something, did, did you say 200? Uh, And there you see touchdown, the soft landing engines uh, firing uh, right on schedule. Touchdown uh, confirmed at 7.51 and 36 seconds p.m. Central Time. And uh, as advertised, Gennady Padalka, the world's most experienced space traveler, first out of the Soyuz capsule, wrapping up 168 days in space uh, during expeditions 43 and 44, and uh, a total of 879 days in space on five flights. And uh, second out uh, is native Kazakh uh, cosmonaut uh, Aydin Anbatov, having landed not far from his uh, hometown on native soil, soon to be feeded uh, at a reception by the Kazakh president in Astana a few hours from now. RSC Energia personnel now extracting Andreas Mogensen of the European Space Agency, the first Dane to fly in space. All three crew members now out of the uh, Soyuz spacecraft, a mere 25 minutes after touchdown. 
on its side or was pulled over onto its side uh, under the force of its uh, return. Everything looking good at the landing site southeast of Jezkazgan. Как я сильно